Hey, it's Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to show you how to take a PowerPoint so that you might need to pre prepare and then submit it electronically with your narration or narration and video embedded into the PowerPoint. Uh, I have PowerPoint 16, which means that I can actually go, once I, the PowerPoint itself is complete, I can go into Slideshow and I can record Slideshow, which means I can add my audio layer to it. So if I click on that, uh, I've already done this one, but uh, just start recording from beginning, go all the way through your show if you know it well. If you need to break it up, start recording from the current slide and just take it slide by slide. Okay, But like I said, I already have uh, my narrations in here. I already did this part. But I also want to share with you, because a lot of people seem to struggle with how do you get it if you do have to submit it basically upload it to your own YouTube channel and then just take that link that it provides and put it back into maybe a discussion area that your professor has created for you to paste your YouTube link into of your presentation I wanted to show you that process because a lot of students tend to uh, get confused by this so at this point you have your PowerPoint created you have your narration on there and you just want to make it, basically you're trying to make it a .mp4 file. An mp4 file is a file that YouTube can handle. So I'm assuming at this point that you have your free Gmail account, which in turn gave you a free YouTube account, that you can upload your PowerPoint that you make into an mp4 file. You can up uh, upload it directly to your own YouTube channel. So that's what I'm concentrating on with this particular video. So at this point, like I said, PowerPoint's created, narration's already on there. Um, I can um, just give you a sample of it. You see the, kind of the uh, playback built into there. Now, I'm not going to narrate during this hey, part because I want you to hear it. it's on here, but if I say launch the show. The PowerPoint that I've constructed on the Appalachian Trail theme. Here we go. So you want your... Um, your title graphics to pop up that becomes your title bar those two items that graphic and that's also a graphic that says hiking the AT and then you'll have your your t your program title in here as well as presented by in your name the next slide obviously these two things do not move okay so you saw how that um, is working now, to take it the next step and take it, make it an MP4 file that YouTube can handle, you just go to File and you go to Export. And one of the choices in Export is Create a Video. If I click on that, you can see that it's going to turn it into uh, um, an MP4 file. And so it just basically, you go down here, Presentation Quality, you got to answer a few questions. You know, do you want it the highest quality? Or do you want to uh, lessen the quality in favor of a smaller file size? It's totally up to you and what's, what, you, what you need. Uh, in the next part, use recorded timings and narrations. Now, obviously I do. I've got narrations recorded on the slideshow. And then when I'm ready, I can just hit Create Video. Okay. So now if you did not have any narrations recorded, uh, this is going to be grayed out and it will it won't be anything for you to select there so um, and you have but with because I have narrations on the slideshow already you I have choices here either don't use the recorded timings and narrations or use them um, so I've got them on there so I'm gonna use them and um, then I'm just gonna hit create video and let that process and it then it notice the save as type MP, mpeg4 video which is mp4 some of you know it as that, and I'll just call it the uh, AT um, Create a Video example. And I will just save that somewhere in my files and just kind of go from there. And we'll just kind of let it do its thing. And you can watch the status bar at the bottom because it probably will go kind of slow. And uh, you can see the status bar start to develop down here at the bottom of your of my um, computer screen toward the underneath the slide. 
and as that um, completes then we'll have a .mp4 file that we can then upload directly to our own YouTube channel not just to YouTube but to your own YouTube channel which is not hard to establish if you don't want the whole world watching you know your presentation that you now have put into YouTube I would highly suggest that you make your YouTube uh, privacy setting on that particular video to unlisted by putting it on unlisted that means that only people who actually have the link can see the video so a lot of times professors want the other people in the class to see your video as well and maybe you know grade it or you know follow some give it some kind of uh, um, marks so whether it be one to ten you know which ones are the favorite in amongst of all of them but um, you, that way if you copy and paste the link once YouTube gives you the link you can copy that link and paste it into your discussion area maybe on your online classroom discussion area that the professor has set up for you and you can see everybody else's in the class and everybody in the class can see yours and most likely nobody else is going to have that link so um, it just kind of keeps your um, presentations uh, just for you and your class and your professor to see. It's not guaranteed but it does help in that respect. Now as you can see the status bar is completing. And at this point um, you just might want to navigate back to where you saved that particular file. Uh, let me get back up here. And let's see, here it is, AT, create a video example, you saw me name it, and that's the, and then today's date and stuff, and it says MP4 video right here. So uh, I would take this file, and um, when I go to YouTube, obviously I'm not going to go directly into my channel, but, um, you know, I would just go and go into my Google Apps and... Uh, go into YouTube and get to where I have the upload video icon and click on that and uh, so it would upload directly to my YouTube channel in which case after it processes in YouTube I'll get a link it will give you a link and then you take that link and you can paste it wherever your professor prefers you paste it okay so I hope this video has helped you understand the process from creating a PowerPoint uh, adding narrations and then saving it and then uh, putting that last piece of the puzzle together to um, s save it as an mp4 file that can then upload easily to your own YouTube channel. So I hope this helps. Thank you for your time.